Hey folks, how's it going? Hope everything is going well. Hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. It's been such a crazy year. Um, hopefully 2021 has some good things waiting for us. Hope you guys are having a chance to relax and spend some time with your family, even if it is uh, through the phone or through um, video call or something. Um, I think if this year has made me realize anything, it's that you know we should never take our friends and family for granted. Um, so I've been spending some time with my family and I've been having a pretty good time doing some 3D printing as well. I just wanted to show you these deer that I printed with my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. This is one of my first resin prints. I printed a Daredevil, which I'll also show you um, in a future video. But um, yeah, the print turned out really well. Giving you guys a bit more of a detailed look here. Uh, the fur came through really well. Um, I sculpted this in ZBrush and used a short hair brush for the fur and um, yeah, came through really nicely. I really like the deer's expression. It's smiling a little bit. I wanted to make a beady eyed deer. <laughs> I just think I just think the expression is more fun. Yeah, the antlers turned out really well. Um, I just used kind of a trim brush to get some angles on there to make it kind of look like a tree. <laughs> and it turned out really nicely. Yeah, overall, very happy with the print. Um, the detail that you get with a resin print is pretty amazing. Pretty remarkable. Um, you know, obviously, these are details that a FDM printer wouldn't catch. Um, this one is a practice one that I did. And I, again, I kind of reiterate always that practice prints are really useful. You can make uh, adjustments and changes um, when necessary. I broke off the antlers because I have clunky hands and I wasn't careful. And again, it was my one of my first resin prints, so um, I didn't realize how delicate the antlers would be. If you're planning to print this, I'll leave the STL in the description below. I'll upload it to Cults 3D. It's a dollar. Um, I'm a teacher. I have to eat. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's a dollar for the STL. And if you guys need help printing it, um, whether it's with resin or FDM, you can always hit me up and I'll try my best to help you guys. But again, if you if you are going to print with um, resin, just be careful of the antlers. They are pretty delicate. So you just have to remove the supports carefully. Um, I put two drain holes on the bottom just for easy cleaning, easy drainage. Again, overall, very happy with the print. I'm going to give it as a gift to my mom and my dad. I think they'll really like it. I'll also show you guys just a quick video of me sculpting it. Um, like the muscles were really fun to sculpt. And the fur, again, I just used a short hair brush. The fur was pretty straightforward as well. I actually had to study a bit of how the fur, um, like what direction the fur was going in on the face. When you look at the model, the fur looks really prominent in the model in ZBrush. But when I actually printed it, it turned out very nice. It's kind of the perfect texture. It's not too rough or jagged. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Again, if you want to give this print a try, whether it's in resin or um, in with an FDM printer with uh, filament, I'll leave the I'll leave the STL in the description. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up or leave them in the comment section below. Please do subscribe and like this video if you want more content like this. It really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.